What's up? It's the original Grown B. Got my boy Saints fan here with me today. And we're talking about a good old favela match. You know we love the favela. We was just now talking about as far as just the straight up matches, the maps that are originally on the game. Modern Warfare 2 has the best. Modern Warfare 3, their maps aren't really all that good. They only got a couple of good ones. Almost all of the Black Ops maps suck. Well, what, what, you play a lot of Black Ops. What, what good maps are on Black Ops, in your opinion? Uh, just the array. Just the array? <laughs> no other map? No. <laughs> um, let's see. What, what map did I like from, um, I liked, uh, uh, what's that, um, the Hanoi, I think? Um. Oh, yeah. And then there was one more, uh, it was like a little city, and, um, there were a couple of different doors, like, there were a couple of different rooms, there weren't any, really, any sniper spots, um, Man, I can't remember the name of it. Was on the like original map? Yeah, it was one of the original maps. Uh, you know all of them? Array, launch, nuketown. I like launch too, uh, I but like that's not the one I was talking about. What what, what else uh, is on there? What uh, summit? I, oh, yeah, I actually really like summit. I forgot about that one. That was that's probably my second favorite one. Um, but the one I'm talking about, I feel like it starts with an H. H? Yeah. What? It probably doesn't, though. Just, like, what other ones do you, can you name? I think it's nighttime during that. It's it, Hanoi. I know, I know, like, Hanoi has a bunch of buildings, but there's one where, um, there's one sniper spot in the very back. That's the only one. And it overlooks a really long street. And then um, there's an alleyway on uh, both sides. Fuck, I really can't think of it. Dang. Well, there's only two or three maps that I, uh, original maps that I really like from Black Ops. There's quite a few on here, Modern Warfare 2, but just all the map packs are terrible. Every single map on both of the map packs are so bad, except for the flashback map from the second map pack when they did Vacant. World at War had some good um, regular maps, probably up there with Modern Warfare 2's regular maps, but, and that guy just runs through all my bullets and knifes me, so, whatever. But, Modern Warfare 3's maps aren't all that great. I'm just hoping that they get some great maps together for Black Ops 2, and some great guns together so that I can actually have some fun. Uh, what, do you, what do you like about Black Ops? You play Black Ops a whole lot more than me. I feel like I have to shoot somebody with my entire clip on Black Ops. I don't know. I just I don't like Modern Warfare Three because I played Black Ops so long. <laughs> so <laughs> switching over, it's kind of like Modern Warfare Three is like a mix between Modern Warfare Two and Black Ops. Yeah, that's it, pretty much what it is. Because it's like in Modern Warfare Two, like you could get shot like quite a few times and then still be able to kill somebody, depending on the gun. And in Black Ops depending on the gun too like you can do that but in modern warfare 3 it just seems like if somebody just aims at you and just shoots like yeah if somebody has that <laughs> one overpowered gun and and they're not um i didn't play black ops a whole whole lot um a a after a while i completely gave up on the multiplayer and i did nothing but zombies but is there any overpowered guns from black ops that you can remember because as far as modern warfare 2 you know, the UMP-45 and that FAMAS are terribly overpowered. Yeah. On Modern Warfare 3, it's that, um, I can't remember the name of it, but that FMJ, FMG-9 is overpowered, that other three-round burst is overpowered. Yeah. Is there any gun on Black Ops that people just, once they get it, they, they barely, <laughs> basically don't even have to hit you? Like, well, there's like the M the MPK-5, that's a submachine gun, and all you gotta do is pull the trigger and just swing your gun around. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're they gonna get hit markers and you're gonna die. Yeah, they got that one on here, to, on, uh, here too. It's it's pretty good, to, easy to use. It, it's not terribly overpowered on Modern Warfare 3, though. I liked using... Um, I, had, I tried so hard to stick with my shotguns, and ultimately the reason why I stopped playing Black Ops is because the shotguns weren't good enough. Um... The shotguns on Modern Warfare 3 are bad, but the shotguns on Black Ops are terrible. They really are. Have you ever used one? Yeah. Like, like the it, Striker and all that? Like, it's just... 
It's not the same. Yeah, just, it's just, it's not. It's just terrible. So, like the other overpowered guns, like the AK-47U, it's a, like... Nip. Oh, yeah, especially yes. if you put rapid fire on it. That's what, <laughs> All you that's what I did. It's just aim and just everybody's dead. Yeah, I had that, um, I don't know what attachment it is that makes the recoil less, but I had that yeah. attachment and rapid fire. Yeah. Man, I barely even had to aim at anybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> swing your gun around. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was doing. So, also, the G11... Is kind of boosted because it's like the last gun you get. But like, if you aim at somebody, it's a three. It's a three round burst, right? Yeah. They yeah. See, I don't know what what it, it is with uh, the Call of Duty franchise, but what as far as the three round bursts are concerned, you don't even have to hit the person anymore. Yeah. Like. And then the Famas, it's kind it's kind of overpowered because like it sprays real fast and all. And then like if you just aim down somebody, it sprays so fast without even like having rapid fire attachment or anything like you could just kill somebody just as soon as you aim spray all the bullets are coming out and the person's dead yeah and, and it doesn't have the same downside that it does in zombies because you don't really need a whole lot of ammo in multiplayer but if you try to run around with the farmers yeah. and zombies you're gonna <laughs> you're be gone. dead in a couple of rounds so speaking of which let's play zombies tonight yeah, we really should. I, I got to get some zombies gameplay up. I love doing this with the. Um, I'm doing this as a, just kind of a little, cause you know I don't know if you've seen some of my Modern Warfare 3 videos, but I'm always talking about how this guy with the knife keeps knifing through all my bullets. No, you know what I uh, was telling Mia the other day. What? I miss uh, having the tactical knife. Oh yeah, see, I used the tactical knife on Modern Warfare 3, but I'm, I came back to this game because. I just wanted everybody to experience because maybe they forgot exactly how good some weapons were. Like, I don't even use uh, assault rifles and stuff, so. <clears throat> so basically, this is just my proof that you know shotguns and all that have just gotten overpowered that's why i've been playing this game and you yeah, all know that so i'm just rolling around here and showing y'all exactly why i don't really use assault rifles anymore because this game was the last game to make some great assault rifles so hopefully and that was bullshit but there we go. We actually lost this game, but I had a pretty great game. So go ahead and comment, like the video, subscribe, share it if you can, and we will holla at y'all later. At Saints fan, also, he's a pretty good guy to play with. Great hype man.